Get yourself one of these today, $9.99.99 for cleaning all of your horrible, dirty messes on your laptop. It's free for you. Today, we're gonna clean a couple laptops. We're gonna show you how to clean a couple laptops. Not gonna show you how to clean every laptop, but we are gonna show you how to clean some laptops because when it comes down to it, these things attract crap tons of dust. So let's get it out and get these things running again. So for this, you're going to need canned air. Alcohol hall must be over 90%. Q-tips, if you so desire, you don't need them, but they're helpful. Nondescript all surface cleaner, coffee filters, thermal paste, cleaning brushes, one small, one large. Toothbrush is great for getting into the little places and cleaning off fan blades. Large brush is great for cleaning off keyboards. And of course, you're gone. We're gonna start with the MSI. It's not going to be indicative of your laptop. You'll wanna look that up online to find out how to take it apart. But we're just gonna do the MSI and the Alienware today. And you can follow along kind of with your own machine. Just look out for a couple of things. Ribbon cables and screws. For screws, magnetic trays. They're awesome, get one. We have the link in the description. You can buy one there. They're only a couple bucks, totally worth having. Ribbon cables, keep an eye out for them when you're pulling the system apart. You wanna watch out for when you're pulling it out and when you're reinstalling them. The little levers on top are really easy to snap and they're not replaceable. So just be very careful with those and make sure every single one gets put back exactly where it was originally. Now that it's apart is quick dusting, but some of you are gonna to wanna to shoot this thing with, a, with compressed air right away. Don't do that. Hold the fan in place before you do it. Because if you don't, you're gonna burn out the bearings. And there's nothing more painful than having to take the thing apart after putting it back together and replace the bearings. Or replace the fans for that matter. Don't use a vacuum. Whatever you do, do not use a vacuum cleaner. This is not the proper tool for this. Paintbrush on the other hand, perfect tool for this. Be soft, be gentle, be quick. Just give it a couple of quick brushes. It's the easiest way to get surface dust off that the air can cannot get. Here we're gonna we're gonna make some nice happy little dust bunnies and get them get them into their own new home. They don't need to be in this home anymore. Go on, little dust bunnies. There you go. Happy little dust bunnies. And now that the dust is loose, the air can can get it. Now, next thing we're gonna have to do here is pull these little itty bitty screws out. It's gonna be a pain, but it's the only way to get into the heatsink because the heatsink and the fan are the same module. Most laptops you're gonna use aren't gonna have this model. They're gonna be pretty simple to get to the fans, pretty easy to get down and dirty in it, and basically just wipe everything off. So this is gonna be the hard mode, as we like to call it. The next machine is the easy one. Do not, and I repeat, do not use this for cleaning fan blades because what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick this stuff on there on a Q-tip or a brush or whatever, you're gonna start wiping it around and you're gonna turn all that dust into mud and it's gonna stick and it's gonna look like crap and it's gonna throw off the balance of your fan. So just do air and soft brushes, no alcohol. So we got the fans out of the heat sinks. Heat sinks have already been cleaned. They're in good shape, everything's great. Now most laptops you're gonna have are gonna be pretty close. You're not gonna have a whole lot of room to work with these fans. Generally, that's it, that's all you're gonna get but you can still clean them if you have that. It's okay. That's why you have a long brush, is you can sort of mash it in there, you know, gently, just use the edge, the tip of it, and just kind of give it a little bit of a brushing motion. Yeah, happy little dust bunnies. But again, if you have the amount of space to work with like this, this is your best option. Long brush still works great for this. Just brush out away from the fan. Try and get in both sides of the blades. So we got both sides there and kind of just brush it away, hold the fan while you do. Don't put a whole lot of pressure on. You can see it's a little bit wobbly. Don't like wrench it down and then stab at it. Just light brushes. And for the most part, that'll get most of the dust off and you can get the rest with a little shot of air. And that's it. You're gonna get down to here. You got all the dust removed. Maybe there was no dust. Maybe that wasn't the problem. Sometimes it's the thermal paste. It'll harden, it'll get tough. You need to take it apart and put new paste on it which can be a little bit difficult. There it goes. So don't be worried by the massive splash of thermal paste all over the place. It's just the factory application. You're gonna have to redo it anyway. So for our purposes, I'm gonna use some NTH1. Other options are available. Q-tips work great for this, but also the other tool you're gonna want for this, something like a coffee filter, because it doesn't leave any lint behind. There's nothing that's gonna get between the CPU and graphics card 
and the copper base plate. So now that we've got the internals clean, the dust is removed, it's been repasted, let's hit it with a spritz of 404 all-purpose multi-surface cleaner and, uh, and get some finishing touches out. Just get all that nasty stuff off the top. Everybody has a dirty laptop, I'm sure, if you own a laptop. It's just, it's bound to happen. And we finally get to see what's so good about our toothbrush. If you can't use it inside, you can certainly use it on the outside. This thing is awesome for getting in between those keys. Now, don't be so worried about getting a little bit of stuff on your keyboard. Most of these things are designed to take a little bit of punishment from like cleaners and stuff. They expect you to clean your laptop. It's okay, it's not gonna get in and fry your motherboard. If you're that worried about it, you let it sit out for a few minutes, let it dry off, it's all good. Give it a little bit more spritz, get in between those keys. Uh, a better option for this, if you have one, is one of the scrubbing brushes, a large scrubbing brush. It's abrasive enough to get the crap out, but it's just light enough that it's not going to damage the laptop in any way. But that's about all you really need to do. Keyboard's all nice and shiny. Well, about as good as you can get it. Give it a nice spritz of air just to get the leftover molecules off. We don't need them hanging around. All right, so for the screen, you wanna be a little bit careful or with the, or a little bit more careful with our super cleaner here because you don't wanna get it underneath the bezel. You don't want it to leak in there and get trapped in there. It can cause some damage. There are electronics in there. There's mostly cables and such, but you just don't want the stuff in there. So try and spray at the top and then catch it as you can. Or if you want, you can just spray that. There's, there's a couple options you got there. You got two screws here and the whole back panel just slides right off, exposing everything you need to see. So on this model, we have a little bit more easy access on the fans. They are their own units. The heat sinks are separate units that are attached to the motherboard in four points. Much easier to get to, much easier to service. Most laptops are designed like this. Most laptops are going to be an easy back panel removal or a door that opens up and you can just get to the components you need to get to to clean. So the fans on these, you can take them apart if you feel like it. Some of your fans are gonna be like this. If you can't take the fan apart and it's trapped in a little cage like this, you can still clean it. You can get to it with the long brush. Hold the fan in place and brush at it. And then turn it and just brush at it. And you can even let it turn itself a little bit because that brush is gonna get in there. If you cannot get to the opening, again, you can still clean it. You can go in from the top and just push the bristles through the, through the fins and go around as you, as you work. And then when you're done, just give it a spritz of air. And if you happen to accidentally get dust all over the laptop you're cleaning, just give it a spritz of air real quick. Fans cleaned, both of them. Heat sinks cleaned. Get your little bottle of uh, alcohol here and clean off the extra gunk. And once you get that cleaned off, you can repaste and rebuild. And then on some laptops, this might be buried a little bit. I mean, the CPU can get buried under like heat pipes or something from another cooler, in which case you can just use Q-tip, dip it in alcohol, and then just rub. The only problem with this is it's gonna leave a lot of excess alcohol. So you wanna use the other side or have something handy that you can kind of squeeze in there and get that extra alcohol off. Don't worry about the extra uh, gunk on the sides. It doesn't hurt anything if it stays there. It's pretty much gonna be fine. Get yourself a nice little dot. Don't use too much, that's about as much as you want. There's a way to measure it, it's like the head of a pin, or the head of a pen, or the like the size of a pea. A little bit smaller on the laptop components. They're not that big, they don't need a massive amount of gunk. And thermal paste it spreads pretty easily. For these wider chips, you kind of want to leave a little bit of a line in the middle. And get these cleaned off real quick. These are gonna be easy, just wipe and go. Shwink. A little bit more alcohol. Okay, fine, I'll just say alcohol. I know you guys don't like it when we do funny things like change words. Just get those lined up, get the screws in place. Don't screw them in yet. Sometimes these heat sinks don't come out as a whole unit, so you won't be able to do it this way, but 
If you do, just line up the screws and then halfway. Don't screw it in all the way, just halfway. Just get them set. Yep, and they're marked one, two, three, four. All right, that's it for us. Check us out on our store. We got shirts, we got links to Discord. Check our socials, they're all down in the description. Links to everything like this is in the description for you. It's all good to go, bye. I have a massive alcohol problem.